Holy shit, I've been on YouTube for five years now. But I won't make one of those cheesy thank you guys videos because I thank you each time on every individual comment video or like you leave or dislike. So I would just start with regular content. Doom 95 ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's probably one of the most unnecessary source pods ever. And what does Doom 95 run best on? Of course, Windows 95. I'm going to install Windows 95 on a virtual machine. If you don't want to watch this process, simply click the link on the bottom of this video or in the video details. So this is like the third or fourth attempt of me installing Windows 95 on a VM. While the installation is not the difficult, it's more to add new drivers. If you want MIDI, if you want sound or if you want higher resolutions, you have to install drivers. And <laughs> for some reason, I don't know why, but i always getting stuck in an endless loop of blue screens, of missing DLL files messages or even system halted messages, so I can't even boot the entire thing anymore. I really hope this one uh, will just work fine, because I finally want to show you Doom 95. The setup and Windows itself is in German because the ISO file has been created from the actual OEM disk that came with our PC back in 1995. But I think it's not hard to figure out what's going on, even if you maybe can't read the text. Some steps are cut to make the video less boring, so don't wonder if stuff is suddenly appearing or disappearing. The Windows installation is always the same till I think Windows um, 2000 or Windows ME, so yeah. Nothing surprising here. Uh, yeah, the Microsoft Network. Microsoft's late attempt to jump on the internet and multimedia hype going on in the mid 90s. If you ask me, it was in vain. It never became popular, even when MS added MSN to their software, for example, MSN Messenger which was basically just a friggin' messenger. Good thing they didn't rename Skype to Amazon Skype, but back then it would have been that way for sure. And what the hell is the point of creating a Windows boot disk if you have it still in your drive in order to install Windows 95? You gotta need a boot disk for the CD-ROM drivers anyways. Asking me during the setup is a bit late. Now watch it all these 16 colors pictures. Isn't this implying technical improvement? I'm looking so forward to use this operating system. <laughs> Alrighty, let's remove the virtual floppy disk and reboot. Now Windows takes over to configure itself. What the fuck? Now it can't find the disk, it just copied files from like uh, 30 seconds ago? Why? I mean, maybe the, maybe the drive letter has changed since reboot or... Oh, please don't tell me it has no CD drivers because I've just unmounted the boot disk in drive A where the CD drivers were on. W wow, okay, just skip these files then. What kind of crap is this? We have installed a whole operating system but not the CD-ROM drivers. Wow, thanks. Thanks for the first reason to hate on Windows 95 already. Okie dokie, setup is done. Windows is booting now, hopefully. Ah, teal, the color of a freshly installed Windows without a wallpaper set. Ah, what the fuck? What a fucking jump scare is this? Boah, what a cruel way to say, hi, your sound drivers have been installed successfully. 640 by 480 pixels. I think that is the generic VGA driver here. Well, let's check the hard disk. Oh well, plenty of space left. 70 megabytes used. The device manager says we have an emulated sound blaster and yep, the default VGA display. We are going to change that soon because I have prepared some files and drivers for this VM to get a higher resolution. And what the heck is going on now? A random blue screen? Why? How? Checking the device managers break windows now? Wait, it says system busy. So it's not a blue screen of death, it's just a regular blue... 
Now it says system busy or instable. And I might want to wait or reboot. Good lord, what the fuck man. So we can choose between 16 colors or monochrome. To change this we need to add one simple file. It's an sys or sys file. I didn't even know sys files are property driver files, I just knew inf and drf. But according to wikipedia, a sys file is a third party device driver. Not sure where I got this from, but after feeding windows with it, we can set up higher resolutions and 32 bit colors. Just point windows to the file, accept the reboot, just to see even more blue screens. Bro, oh, Jesus Christ. Some dynamic link call to a VXD file is invalid. VXD files are virtual drivers needed by DOS, if I'm not mistaken. So this is the first encounter of the famous Windows DOS interferences. After all, it will just boot fine. Wow. Wow. Now look at this. This is much better. And that's it. No more drivers. I was pushing my luck too much already. While I copy all the necessary files to my virtual windows, I want to greet all the viewers who skipped the installation part and are joining us right now. Hi there! We have a 32-bit color sound, high resolution and all its stuff. The only thing which is missing might be MIDI drivers, but if you followed the video, you saw I had like 5 blue screens already and I don't want to fuck up my VM for this. Yes, as expected, Windows can't access a device for MIDI playback. Ah oh, fuck it, it sounds horrible anyways. I managed to have MIDI drivers once and it really sucked big times. Oh my god, that is cheap. Putting a spider mastermind gif in a setup dialog is just like um, a kindergarten student designed it. The setup will come with some DirectX drivers and share with Doom. Because of the recently added system files, there's need to reboot yet another time. But I think it, uh, that's enough reboots then. Except the system freezes or something, but I keep my fingers crossed because I am quite fed up with crashes and shit. There we go, Doom 95, ladies and gentlemen, the most useless and buggy source port ever. A failed attempt to hop on the Doom hype back then. The main window is mainly about of the setup of a game. You can choose between network or solo play, which what file you want to use, the difficulty level, the map of course with the famous hangar misspelling as well as some extra options. The advanced tab allows you to set up parameters for time play, the turbo, demo recording and the screen resolution. Especially the latter one is important because this is the first and only improvement over vanilla Doom. Apart from the fact that it will override your settings and still launch in full screen no matter what you try. Which kills the benefit of playing Doom under Windows 95 in a window demonstrating its multitasking abilities. The configuration is about the controls and sound, nothing special here. Conclusion, Doom 95 is nothing more than a front end to set up things rather than using command line parameters under DOS. Pretty disappointing with all the hype about it. Alrighty guys, let's just dive right into a default game here. We have this slow ass screen mat effect and wow some very delight input. With delight I mean it feels like walking on an ice rink instead of the responsive control I'm used to. The gun is barely visible and hidden by the status bar and so far it feels really awful to play like that. The look however is better due to the double resolution now. The problem there is the pixels are quadratic, so everything might be a bit more stretched compared to vanilla Doom. Nothing interesting here really, it's just regular Doom on an ice rink. And in full screen. I really don't get the point. Windows 95 has a fully fledged DOS underneath where you could run Doom just fine. Sure, you will need to know the parameters to set up your game to suit your needs, but why the hassle with installing this crap to run under Windows when it's still fucking full screen? This bugs my mind so much. Where's the. Ah, forget it. Let's move on to one of the new cheat codes. <laughs> yes, Doom 95 comes with two additional cheat codes. Now that is nice, huh? Entering FHHALL -L or FHALL will give all the enemies in the map except for Lost Souls. 
The message reads by request because this cheat has been added after a request by Jason Hall, the CEO back then of a company called Monolith, which made the well-known game Blood. You can even win Doom 2 Map 7 by using this cheat and get 100% kills. Enemies in Doom can be deaf. In Doom 95 they also can be blind. Entering FHSHH shows the message be very very quiet, which is a joke referred to Alma Fudd of the Looney Tunes. Now enemies won't react when spotting the Doom guy. Re-entering brings them back to a normal state, showing the ACHOO message, as if the player sneezed and thus waking up the enemies. Cheats are cool and stuff, but let's go back to the nice features Doom 95 is promising. Demo recording, required for speedrunning or simply to show cool stuff, is an essential part of Doom, but guess what, it does not work with this pile of crap. As soon as you launch the game, it will crash back to Windows, saying the file has been recorded. What? Okay, maybe the file size was too small. I mean, I don't believe this, but this is the only thing I could have messed up, since there's nothing else I could change. Bullshit! And why reads the title by error and the message itself sounds like a planet shutdown of the game? This source port sucks major shit for real. Look at that, just a couple of bytes. It didn't even bother to write data. Good job, another thing added to the Why Doom 95 Sucks Ass list. Okay, forget the demo. No one needs demos or time games, right? We just played a normal game. I mean, at least the bear game itself appears to be normal. The Nostrial Zone is a large map and you can get lost easily. The medikits here might be useful later on, so let's open the map and mark this by pressing the M button. I said by pressing the M button. I pressed the M button, but nothing happens. I marked a spot apparently, but where? And I keep marking spots and none of them is seen. What is going on here? Yes, I know the map's name. Thanks for repeatedly showing me. Oh my god, I'm stuck in a weird parallel existence of the Earth and the auto map. But this ain't Star Trek, I wanna get out of here. Ugh. People say. Doom is not 3D, you can't throw a room above or below another one. Well take a look at this smartest people, the numbers are clearly above the map. Who says this game is not 3D, huh? This is some fucked up shit for real. Seriously, what is going on here? Why is the minimap malfunctioning like this? Yes, I would be surrounded by numbers, I would look like the Doom guy right now. He's like... Numbers left, numbers to my right. Oh my god, I better don't move because I am knee deep in numbers. I really have nothing more to say about this. This is fail. This is just fail. I beat Doom 2 once again, and with this, Doom 95. <laughs> Finally this is over, and I mean not the invasion of the aliens, I mean Doom 95. So let's just relax and watch the endgame animations. <laughs>
Okay, that's it. That's it. Doom 95 is a disaster. Command line parameters broken. The automat broken. Now even the endgame animations are broken. I mean, this is not really a big surprise. If you think that no one would bother to play this shit, so no one play tested it. Because why would you, why would you do that? No one needs this shit. And even the programmers didn't bother to bug fix. Yeah, that's it. I will remove this crap from my PC now before my other files get AIDS. Yeah. These games are getting really realistic. Next year I might even play in the uh, big Doom tournament. You might wonder what I'm doing here. Uh, well, I'm, I'm getting kind of an inside look at some of these new games. I think you'll be amazed at all the new games we're going to show you here this evening. We've got a few key points to remember. First, Windows 95 is the game platform. Whether it's the best performance, the best setup, the best integration, uh, with the toolkits we're putting together, we're going to make sure people are very focused on Windows 95. DOS, it's been impossible to install the games. Hard for the developers, hard for the users, cut support problems, and nowhere near the graphics performance we're getting today with our DirectX APIs. A second key point is that we think the PC really is the entertainment platform for the future. Uh, we're going to have the best performance, the way to reach out uh, and do multiplayer games, lots of new peripherals, and the improvements just keep coming. Uh, our commitment is to make the tools, to make the platform better and yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't interrupt me. And a third point is I really want to thank all the third parties who've made this possible. The reaction of the game community has been fantastic. I will be showing you here 75 new games, all of which will be coming out by the end of the year. We really believe that uh, with their help we'll be able to clean up this DOS mess and get everything focused on Windows. And it's our commitment to keep moving ahead uh, and doing that. Well, I better go uh, work on cleaning up this neighborhood here. Uh, so I'm off. Uh, but don't forget, uh, when you're trying out our haunted house, uh, don't, don't lose your head. See ya. <laughs>